First of all, I know there's a lot of people up here I should introduce, but I'm going to start right here with somebody very special. I want to introduce my own son, Shane, who is standing right there. tell you a little bit about this guitar. This is my original Acme uh, guitar. It started out as a Rickenbacker and I did a bunch of modifications to it at the right at the end of 1968 getting ready for hopefully a you know new big year. Um, when I got all done I called it Acme because it had been so altered and transmogrified. Uh, anyway I played a lot of a lot of the early hits on this actual guitar uh, traveling band and uh, came out of the sky and uh, gosh, Green River for sure, a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, um, I should tell you that this is the guitar I played at Woodstock! And actually that amplifier right back there is the same amplifier I had on stage at Woodstock. Um, there's more to that story, you know, online, so go check it out as they say. Uh, and most of you have already heard that story anyway. But uh, then this, this guitar went missing. I actually ended up giving it to a kid around 1973. And I didn't see this guitar for a long time, like 44 years. And then quite recently, uh, my dear wife went out into the hinterlands and uh, found my guitar for me. And it was a surprise. She put it under the Christmas tree a couple of years ago. As the night goes on, you will learn more and more that Julie is the one that runs everything. <laughs> Maybe even at your house, too. I don't know. She's really busy. Anyway, uh, I didn't play this actual song I'm going to play at Woodstock. I went home from all the craziness and then wrote this song. <laughs> 